First of all, we want to thank everybody who came out tonight, right? I want to thank everybody who came out to see the art show, all of the artists who put their hard work in and participated in the art show, all of the girls, all of the guys who put the show together, hung the art, made the flyers and all of the stuff, the ones that was late bringing their art in. <laughs> this right here, to all of us that's standing up here, means a whole lot. And a lot of people was asking me tonight what it means to me. I think it means the most to me because this was a journey that we've been on for a long time, trying to see this happen. We used to teach art classes in the schools, and we used to open up these storefronts and teach editing classes and stuff like that. And to be able to see things like this happening in this community right now to me, it's big. And it's not just me that's doing it. Kenny's been with us for probably like 18 years doing it. El and I started off. Most of the faces that you see around here, Rand included, Drew, everybody has their hands in on what's happening in this neighborhood. And I want to say, first and foremost, it's not me. It's a collective of people who come out to make things like this happen. The people that you see sharing it and posting it, the things that Roland is doing, all of us come together and have meetings about building this community. And for me to see this happening, man, it brought a tear to me tonight. And I got some flowers that smell like broccoli to somebody. Like <laughs> <laughs> I keep laughing about my flowers, but I really appreciate everybody, appreciate everybody. And we just wanted to talk to the artists and let them share their vision for their artwork, what we're building, and how we plan on keep on pushing this community forward. It's a lot of stuff that's happening that y'all may not know about some apartments being built, some other storefronts, some other businesses coming to the block. We got some brand new businesses opening in this spring, and we're excited about it. So this is another step towards building our community with us owning our own community. I think that's most important to me. Usually when we go into other communities and you see shit like this happening, somebody else owns those neighborhoods, they own those communities. But up here represents the people who own the buildings, that own the community, that own the businesses. And that's what makes me proud, because when we go to other places and they ask us about Chester, we'd be like, yeah, we're doing a lot of dope shit, but we also own our neighborhood. You know what I mean? So I want to thank you all for coming out. And I wanted Kenny to say something, because he put a lot into putting this show together, building the gallery, and then we're going to move forward, man. So I appreciate you, man. He got all the great hands on this show. You, uh, it isn't even about me. I want to thank Everybody, every one of these artists you see this up here, I gave them one phone call and they all came right away. I think it started with Marcy, the building was empty, she came right in, and everybody started flooding. Um, every time I called Dev and say, yo, I need $100,000 to, <laughs> to fix a wall, he sends me a check. I could call Roland, I say, yo, Roland, I'm leaving. <laughs> I, need a, I, 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 need, I need XYZ to do this. Roland say, let's go, I call Fitz. I say, let's paint up the block. Fitz comes out with paint, and we paint to the morning time. Now, Fitz be like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody that y'all see here, they all bust their ass to be here. Like, we all work together as a team, and not just here, the whole community. I got this one special person that I need to say thank you to that a lot of people don't shine lights on. Hey, Mr. Harry. Mr. Harry. This gentleman right here. Mr. Harry! <laughs> 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 Listen, I, I really need you to understand why he's important to us. This building looked nothing like this. This building was rough, it was beat up, and I, I told him, I, I went to him and Dev, I'm like, yo, this gotta be an art gallery. And they like, huh, what you talking about? I'm like, nah, I got a lot of artist friends, let's do an art gallery. Every time I tell Harry something new gotta get built, he builds it. You know, and I just, like I said, I appreciate everybody's family for coming out, because unbeknownst to you, when you guys come out and support your family, you also support the next artist. You know, so in the future you'll be seeing all of us working together, out in springtime doing murals, traveling together, and we're just grateful for y'all. That's it. Thank you. Now, this is what I want to do, right? This is the line of art. Is everybody represented right now? Everybody here? I just wanted them to say who they are, show you their pieces, because a lot of people were asking questions about the different pieces and may not know who the artist is and who represents in this building. So we're going to start with y'all over here. T-Bear, you look like you're the first artist. Okay, I am. Hey, y'all. My piece is over here, right here on this wall with the bike. Um, 
kids on the bike and then the kids at the top with the fire hydrant and down low with other people. And they all took place right here in Chester. The one on the bike is right underneath the bridge, the building. If you look on the bike, if you look past the bikes where the building is, we're currently in that building. Um, so I thought that was dope. The one up top, my daughter told me to take when I was coming home one day. And um, I was riding past kids playing on the playing at the fire hydrant. I said, Savannah, should I take it? She said, yeah, Dad, take it. And I took it. And one down low, um, back in 2019, Jalil Beats had uh, Rick Ross here in Chester. It was a really big event. Had the line pretty much from City Hall all the way down the end of the block, all the way to where Duo currently is now. And I put my phone up and snapped the picture, and that's what came out. So the goal when I first started doing photography was to show the beauty of Chester. And I felt like those three images kind of encapsulate, encapsulate that, that image. Hey everybody, we are here at the Art Gallery on the Avenue of the States. I am here with Mr. T-Bear himself, photographer, and tonight he has on his artist hat. So talk to us a little bit about tonight's event. Um, tonight's a beautiful night, man. It's a beautiful crowd in the building, you know, celebrating local art, celebrating beautiful art. Celebrating chest art, so here we are. All right, so you have some art in the building. I do. I do. So if you could just tell us about one of your pieces and what it details. Um, one of the one of the pieces is called Bike on Twelve O'clock. It's the middle piece. Um, it's a picture of about four or five kids doing wheelies on their bike right here in Chester, right in front of where Duo Tacos is currently. Um, it was taken about five years ago, but apparently everybody tonight thinks it was taken back in the 70s or 80s. So, I mean, that's fine. You know, it's all about capturing time in the moment. You know, so that's one of my favorites. Awesome, awesome. So why is art important? Art is important because years from now, like, you're going to look back on this and you're going to see that like this was a time, you know what I mean? Like you look at pictures, you look at different art pieces and stuff of different people. You know, there's pictures of Meg the Stallion. 20 years from now, 30 years from now, people are like, who's Meg the Stallion? The same way we'd be like, who's James Brown? You know, kids today are like, who's James Brown? Who are these people? So, it, you know, it, it paints a moment in time. It's like a portable time capsule, if you will. I like that, I like that. How can the people get in contact with you? Uh, man, T-Bear Photography on Instagram, uh, T-Bear Photography at gmail.com, www.tbearphotography.com. Everything T-Bear Photography, man. Everything TV My man Rand, Maserati Rand. What's going on, man? I'm Rand. Uh, some of y'all might know me as Maserati Rand. My days are making music and everything. Um, my, my work is, I need you guys over there, duck there, all the way over, exclude these two. And over there, I had something over there, somebody actually came in and bought it. Um, I've actually, uh, you know, I, when I was young, I used to draw a little bit, do things like that. I've, you know, I've been around these guys for a very long time, but I never really dove all the way until probably about a year ago with Cloud. Yeah, I told him about my daughter who actually inspired me to get into art. She's eight now. She's been, she's way better than I am, I'll tell you that. But she, uh, you know, she's been painting and everything since she was probably about four years old. So I got back into it as something, you know, I could do with her and buy with her. And by, probably about a little over a year ago, I met McLeod, and he gave me a stack. I told him about my daughter, he gave me a stack of canvases. He seen me, I was in a meeting, uh, JP, around the radio, said, I'm sitting there doodling, and he's like, oh, you, you draw it? I'm like, eh, nah, not really. So I told him about my daughter, he gave me a stack of canvases. And from there, me and her started working on them, and, you know, I really never looked back. I showed Kenny a couple of pieces, and he just started, like, really like push, man, you gotta put this out there, you gotta post this, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta bring me something, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. You know, cause uh, at first, you know, looking at a lot of the other art, I was like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't think I'm, you know what I'm saying? But um, it feels good to have that uh, art for me is this freedom of expression. You know, everything, everything tells a story in a sense, even the most simplest pieces, it has a story behind it, something. It's a way of expressing yourself without words, and you know, that's why I love it. I love the network. Um, it was definitely nice meeting all of it. The artist here. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to working with a lot of you. Yes. Hello, everybody. We are here at the art show on the Avenue of the States. Introduce yourself to the people. Uh, how you doing, man? My name is Ran, uh, also known as Maserati Ran. All right, Maserati. So you have some art on display today. Just give us an overall of what they can expect to see when they see your art. Um. Expression, uh, you know, uh, expression, uh, inspiration that I draw from life, from other artists, uh, past, present, and future. You know, awesome. so, you know. so, if you could pick one of your pieces today that you can tell us a little bit about, um, I got a piece up there uh, of crabs in a barrel. I actually call it culture. Um, you know, it's, it's self-explanatory. It displays, uh, you know, a group of crabs in a barrel that fighting to get out, and at the bottom, with it, you have a crab reaching for 
you know, a tag that says culture on there. It's like, I, and I feel like as us as a people, as a whole, not just black people, but as a whole, you know, um, that's the type of culture we embrace, um, you know, uh, in a, you know, in society, you know, everybody's trying to, everybody's trying to get to it, but everybody's trying to hold somebody back just in order so they can get to it as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So. And sometimes they don't even realize that they're pulling each other down. Right. We might as well help each other. We might as well pull each other out, right? You know, rather than pull each other back in. You know? Yeah. Because then we all we all going to the boiling pot. Then. You know what I'm saying? We all going to the boiling Listen, pot. Listen, we gonna yeah. all end up in the pot and we don't work together. Yeah, absolutely. How absolutely. can people reach you? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at yeah ran made this y e a h r a n made m a d e this uh, on Facebook um, ran Freeman you know yeah all right Two best ran places made to this ran check made them this. out. <laughs> Um, my first piece is called Bigger Than Beautiful, and it's a black woman, and it just features her just just being look, looking up to the sun, and I incorporate a lot of African colors in it, and I have a African, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm nervous. Don't be, don't be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As she walks in, sorry, the <laughs> In light of Black History Month, I wanted to create something that really um, encapsulates that. So, I got two pieces for sale, and I do art, I do commissions, so hit me up. And yeah, I'm going to keep this Cuban brief. That's all. <laughs> Hey everybody, we are here on the Avenue Estates at the gallery. Introduce yourself to the people. Hello, my name is Lorraine Christie. I'm an exhibiting artist in this show today, and I'm super thankful to be here with your beautiful reporter. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and I love, love, love being here because I'm getting to meet beautiful people like Lorraine, now Lorraine. Tell us how important it is to have events like this. Events like this really give people a space to be heard, be seen, and especially during Black History Month, I think it's important that us as a black community come together for everyone and support and uplift everyone as artists, as family, and just as people of, a, of the same community. Awesome. So I want you to think about one of the pieces that you have on display tonight and tell us about it. So I have a, a fist, and it's a, it's, it's a really iconic symbol that I really wanted people to feel to resonate with. I wanted to symbolize power and in it I kind of made it like a, um, I made the black in it kind of, I put the word black and I made it abstract and I wanted the, it to meet the eye and for it to be busy for the eye. So it, it gives, the, gives the person something to really think about and, and to explore. Awesome. Yes. So in light of all this beautiful energy in this place, can you encourage somebody who maybe they're like I, I want to draw, but I'm okay. struggling. Can you encourage that person? I would encourage them to be free. Like, life's too short to be sitting and thinking about it. Just get up, do it, and, and, and paint from your heart. Create from your heart. It don't even got to be painting. Just create from your heart. Do everything from the heart. Listen, they used to have those things in school. They just made you go in circles in different sizes. That's all you got to like, do. That's, I did that. See, that's all you got to do. And it's, like, even abstract. Like, just, just get up there and just start painting how you're feeling or just drawing or creating. Just start... Just start doing something that makes you happy, that's all. You never know what might come out of it. Yes, yes ma'am. So can ma you give people your social media contact? So my social media is R-A-E-S-K-E-E-Z, Race Keys. Please follow me and, and connect, and I hope to see you in the future. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hi, y'all. I'm Mercy. Um, my corner is right here. I have clothes, I have friends. Um, for me... Y'all just seeing my life, just the way I, I would write in a diary, I didn't. I just put it on a canvas. So, yeah, I almost gave up on my art journey, but everybody <laughs> is inspiring me and keeping me going and pushing me. So. Thank you, guys. Yes. Hey, everybody. We are here at the gallery on the avenue of the state in the city of Chester, PA. Introduce yourself to the people. Hi, I'm Marcy at Marcy Alago on Instagram. Awesome. Now, Marcy, how long have you been 
doing art? I've been doing art since I was four years old. Awesome. But I've only been painting for 10, for 10 years. Awesome, awesome. So what inspired you to start painting? Well, I usually tell stories about love and, um, and pain too. And all my experiences just come together and it's kind of like, Therapy for me, to be honest. Awesome! So what do you think about tonight? Tonight's my first art show ever. Wow! So, Congratulations! <laughs> thank you so much. Awesome! Well, that is great. So how are you feeling tonight? I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was nervous. But now I'm being here, I feel like there's so much love and appreciation in the room. So I'm glad that I get to put my heart on display. For but, see, but see, you're giving out that good energy, too. So you're just reaping what you're sowing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about, think about one of the pieces that you have on display tonight and tell us about it. Okay. Um, so Vulnerable, I, that's my baby right there. <laughs> it's the lady hanging up um, upside down. Um, so I really felt con constrained and I felt like I was alone in that time period. I had gotten a car accident, so I just felt stuck. But I just love how beautiful it turned out, even though it was made off of pain. Wow, and it is very beautiful. You did a very good so job much. on that. So if you could give everybody your social media one more time. Okay, at Marcia Lago, M-A-R-C-I-E-A-L-A-G-O, and Art From Mud, too. At Art From Mud, underscore, underscore. Underscore. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Rosa. Um, my art started, uh, well I've always loved art as a little girl, but um, I'm based out in Monaco and essentially um, I started drawing more so like after my mom had passed away. Her name was Rose and so I like dedicated my name, my artist name, um, in memory of her. And so a uh, beautiful rose in Spanish is Hermosa Rosa. So a lot of my pieces have uh, roses that I include and um, just like it, like a reflection of my emotions and what I've been going through. Um, but then also like in the media, like you see some of my art is like fun, like Betty Boop and like Squid Games and stuff like that. So um, I like to incorporate just like everything that's going on in my life and my feelings. And um, just, you know, um, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity, the experience and meeting every one of you guys. And um, I'm grateful for the opportunity. I, I can't wait for what's to come. Yes. Hey everybody, we are here at the Art Gallery. Introduce yourself to the people. Hi, I'm Hermosa Rosa. My real name is Jasmine. Um, I am going to be displaying a few pieces tonight and I'm excited to meet and share my art. Um, essentially, uh, my art means beautiful rose or my artist's name means beautiful rose in Spanish. Um, so I like to incorporate roses in my pieces. So you'll see in some of my paintings I include a lot of roses and line art. Um, very vibrant. Um, some of my uh, influences, I would say, are Frida Kahlo and uh, Pablo Picasso. Um, so just like I just like paint my emotions, and um, I'm really passionate about art. I've been doing it ever since I was a little kid. Awesome. Yeah. All right. I want you to think about one of the pieces you have on display tonight and tell us about it. Yes. Yeah, so um, one of my pieces is called um, Hat of Happiness. Um, it's a line art piece, and it has multiple faces, and um, essentially, uh, I like to think of it as like it's different women uh, united together, and um, she has like a big hat in the painting, and uh, she looks happy, and there's like different faces of her, different emotions, and um, I just think it's a very, like, very nice piece. Awesome! Yeah. Thank you for sharing that with us today. <laughs> Thank now, you for having me. <laughs> why is it important to have an event like this? I think it's important to be around like-minded artists, um, to uh, see representation. Um, you know, growing up, uh, I am multiracial, so uh, it wasn't a lot of artists um, in that in that area that um, were on the like-minded type tip that I was on. And um, me and Kenneth got together, and uh, we we shared the same dreams and goals and inspirations. And he asked me to display my art, um, and I think it's a wonderful opportunity what he's doing for the community. Awesome! How can people reach you on social media? Yes, you can follow me. I have Instagram. Um, it is my personal is I am Hermosa Rosa, and then my art is uh, it's um, Hermosa Rosa dot art. So you can follow me on my business page and my art and my personal page. Awesome! Thank you. Much. Yes. Thank you. Thank so you much. for having me. It was a pleasure. <laughs> have a good night. You too. Enjoy. Um, and my pieces are over on this little piano is three pieces 
Um, I want to try on the easels. Yeah, it's one of the easels. Um, one of them is a big lady that um, she's a black woman and she has a um, she's holding a flower. Of, what's that called? I'm sorry, I'm all nervous too. Um, what is that? A flower? Of, a flower. Okay. Yes. Yes. A flower bouquet, and it basically stands for like um, anyone. Like if you're doing something, don't be so hard on yourself. Like really give yourself grace, give yourself your flowers, because you're really doing the thing, you know. And a lot of us, if we're working hard and we're just in it, we're not focused on like seeing what the outsiders are looking at. We're just like in that trying to survive, you know, trying to just do what we're trying to do to make it. Um, and the other two pieces are, um, it's a lady that is like a candy, but she's naked inside the candy piece. And that's called Eye Candy. Um, we, me and my girl right here is another one of us. Um, we have like sip and paint events, just like sexual exhibits, but just sexual art. Um, and then another piece I have over there is called Hair Care, because I'm really big on hair care. I'm in cosmetology school. Um, so that's my three pieces, but um, I'm so grateful to be a part of this experience. I was one of the late ones he was talking about, but, <laughs> so I she that, the but, late one. but I made it. I made sure I was here. You know, I've been going through a lot, but I didn't let that, you know, stop me and stop me from bringing in some pants. So, well, what, 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 what was the words we told you when you said that earlier? Um, just keep doing it. Like, you just push gotta through. push through it. Exactly. And that's why I'm here today. I pushed through whatever I was going through and I made it. And I just thank y'all for real for this experience. And me and every one of y'all, y'all are dope. And this whole experience was so magical for me. So, thank you for bringing me in. Appreciate it. Hey, everybody. We are here on the Avenue of the States at the Art Gallery. Introduce yourself to the people. Hi, I'm um, Killer Key. I go by Killer Creations. That's my art. It stands for Kill Shit and Create Anything. Excuse my language. Awesome. Um, let, okay, I like that. Explain like this is what it means. Okay. Some people don't they don't know, you know. They don't know what it means sometimes. Listen, so. sometimes I just make it plain. Just like you make your art nice and plain and simple. I yeah. love it. So why is it important to have an event like this? It's important to have an event like this because um, for one, it's Black History Month. For two, like bringing all these people together with this amazing, beautiful art, it's, it's just magical. It's, and it puts inspiration in people's hearts. Um, it gives people motivation, especially the artists. Uh, speaking for myself, um, I had like a big art block before this event, and coming here, it definitely gave me a lot of inspiration. Just seeing the beautiful pieces, like it's, this is magical to me. Like this is working into like a, like what is it? Um, I don't even know. Like I can't even explain it, but it's a dope experience. Yeah, the vibe is awesome. It's, it's everything. It's definitely the people a great here, energy. Yeah, it is. It's definitely dope. And it's and it's charging. It is. It's, it's definitely gonna spark some people. Yeah, definitely. they gonna go home and be like, oh, that I saw. Yeah. I'm ready to yes. go. Let's and the go. Energy is feeding off the paintings and from the people just bouncing. Up. It's just everything. I love, I love it. the event. It's, so it's talk to good. us. Think about one of the pieces you have on display tonight and tell us about it. Um, one of the pieces I have um, displayed tonight. Is it's a, it's a naked woman and she's holding a bouquet of flowers. And basically, I took um, this piece, it means to me, and um, I'm trying to get it to, across to other women too, that give yourself grace. Um, and give yourself your flowers. Like a lot of women, or just people in general, we're working hard. Um, speaking for myself, like I'm a mom, I, um, I do art, I'm in cosmetology school. It's a lot that I got on my plate day to day. Um, and I don't give myself enough like credit sometimes. I'll be hard on myself, like I'll be down if I didn't get a, enough paintings done or if I didn't um, complete a piece or if I didn't um, do a hairstyle good enough. But it's like, you kind of got to set recognition for yourself that what you have done. Um, I got a few mural pieces in Philadelphia. I met this great experience art event. Um, and it's been a little bit since I've been at an art event. So me, I'm just taking it in and I'm very grateful. And I guess that piece just spoke to me the most because, like, I got to give myself my flowers. I've been working hard, and, you know, a lot of people are seeing it, so. Yeah. Yeah. It, and that's true because sometimes we got to remind ourselves, put the gloves down. Yeah. We beat ourselves up enough. Mm -hmm. So how can people reach you? Um, you can reach me um, on Instagram. I am killer2 underscore key or killer creations. Um, and... Art by Killer Creations as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hey, y'all. My name is Bala. I actually go by multiple names. Tiara, Malaysia is my real name. Malaysia Francis. But I'm um, known as Bala in the art world. Um, my pieces is the flag pieces behind you. It's basically about black history. It's talking about, it means the greed that we suffer through, our pain, our suffering that we 
push to make America and also mm -hmm. signifies um, should we embrace America because we built it or should we hate America because of the pain we went through. Mm -hmm. um, I also have my butterfly piece which is a sneak peek of my new collection coming out. It's all about myself and my growth. Um, my children went through a lot of trauma in life which ultimately I went through a lot of trauma in my life and it shows that even through struggle I'm going to make something beautiful out of it. Um, I want to thank Ken, Devin, all the guys over town. I met them a few years ago. They did a walkthrough this, when this building was nothing, when MJ Free was just getting off the ground, um, when Ken had his gallery back there, and they actually the ones who pushed me to do art. Uh, also do furniture. I helped with the marketing. Um, so I don't consider myself an artist more so than a creator. I'm an all-around creator. Um, thanks, everyone, for coming out. I appreciate meeting everyone now. Y'all look beautiful, all this black excellence in this building. Hey everybody, we are here on the app. Say hello to the people. Hi, hey everybody, I'm Bala. And Bala is one of the artists on display tonight. Yes, so yes, Bala, yes. I want you to think about one of the pieces that you have on display and tell us about it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do my favorite piece is my butterfly piece. Um, it's basically me saying from Turn it from a caterpillar to a butterfly. I've been through a lot of trauma in my life. My children have been through a lot of trauma in my life. And I just want to show everybody that you can make something beautiful out of your trauma. It don't always have to be pain and suffering. Or, you know, everybody goes through things, but I want it to be beautiful. So where you are right now doesn't necessarily mean that's where you have to stay. Absolutely. I love it. So why is it important to have an event like this? Okay. So networking, connections, meeting new people, learning new things. Um, somebody somebody always knows something that you don't know. And to get that information from somebody else is a great opportunity to be in a building like this. So with 22 different artists, all different walks of life, old, young, it, it was a beautiful event and I'm just grateful to be here. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you sharing your art with us and how can people reach you on social media? Well, I go by Bala, B-A-L-A-A-A. -A -A -A, that's all. You can reach me there. Um, Tierra Gully on Facebook, but Ball is mostly the best place to reach me at. All right, there you have it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, hi, my name is Tahira. Uh, I have these pieces over here. It's a couple mad, a big teddy bear. Um, I wasn't ready. I was like getting my little speech together. But um, I'm inspired by everything around me. I actually have a business called Youth Studios. So whether it's motherhood, whether it's trauma, um, or my daughter, I just try to find inspiration in everything. Um, and I just want to say thank you to these guys. Um, I was explaining to Kenny, I've never had like an artistic community. I don't know a lot of artists, so I'm just grateful to meet all you guys. And hopefully, you know, we keep the momentum going. Yes. Thank you. Hey everybody, we are here at the Art Gallery on the Avenue of the States. Introduce yourself to the people. Hi, my name is Tahira Coleman. All right, she is an artist who has a display in the building tonight. So why is it important to have an event like this? Um, it just instills community. Um, a lot of places have artistic programs cut off, so it just shows the community how important art is and why we should keep it in our schools and keep our kids creative. And it just shows how important art is to everybody. Awesome! So I want you to think about a piece that you have on display tonight and tell us about it. Um, I have my piece, it's called Back to Basics. It's a big teddy bear. Um, it was inspired by my daughter. She made a piece. Um, it looked kind of crazy, but I was inspired about how she just let her creati creativity flow. And I just wanted to incorporate that into my art. Awesome! So can you give everybody your information on social media? Yes, my... Uh, my Instagram is Ty underscore taught you, and I have a website too with mstudiosart.com. Awesome, thank you for your time. Thank you. Um, hi everyone, my name is Tamara. Um, my artist name is Unoya Evolve. It's beautiful, thinking, evolving. I got that name from um, trauma and just growing out of everything that's, you know, darkness. And my paintings are over here. The first one is called Sophisticated. I have another one called Medusa. And one of them is called Enchanted, behind you over here. And another one was um, basically talking about sexual assault and just evolving and growing through that and trusting God through everything and having your faith power. Yeah. So, and forgiveness also, that's important. So that's my message. Yeah. Thank you. So, I got one that we skipped in the window. We had like 
he invisible, man. You can't see him right now. We got E. Graham up there, right? E. Graham is an artist from the city of Chester. He does a lot of work around in the city. I just want him to speak real quick. Um, yeah, I'm E. Graham. Um, I go by art by E. Graham. Um, so I do a lot of mural work, uh, paintings, art therapy programs, uh, programs with the schools over here in Chester Community Charter School. And yeah, it's just dope to be here and see all of y'all out here. So salute to all of y'all. Everybody, we are here at the Art Gallery on the app. I am here with E. Graham, the Muriel Man. <laughs> he constantly reminds us that broken crayons still color. Yeah, definitely. So, what's the vibe in here tonight? Talk to us. Um, the vibe is good. Um, I'm live painting and everything. Um, I've been creating some work doing throughout the show, um, and I'm just playing some artwork as well too. But it's a good vibe. It's good to uh, see people out and everything like that, you know. And you know, be able to um, kind of be a part of it. I don't get to be a part of things like this often, you know. So it's a surprise, but you know, it's good to be outside. You know, today is a good day. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> so I want you to think about something, a piece that you have on display tonight, and talk to us about it. Um, a piece that I have on display. Um, I have a couple of pieces on display. Like I'm um, talking about, like how, like creating it and everything, or just like the whatever you have on the floor today. Um, well, I got a few different pieces. I'm sorry, I got a few different pieces. Um, most of my pieces up here um, don't really have like a full-on face. Some of them do, uh, but most of my artwork when I do do. Um, pictures of people sometimes they are faceless um, and women um, I want people I want people to be able to look at uh, the pe paintings and you know envision their self within the work and not you know get caught up on you know the details of someone's face and everything like that like I want them to kind of like see themselves represented within the painting without their bad faces with their bad faces and everything um, and you know just uh, most of my pieces is like fuse a few different styles together um, whether it be you know character artwork whether it be abstract artwork or you know me embracing and showing love to you know uh, beautiful black women and everything like that so with that like I just like to play around with different styles and honestly just you know um, kind of like invoke a sense of joy when people look at my artwork and everything so I use bright and bold colors you know so um, you know it kind of like sets things uh, apart from a lot of other artists and everything so it's real good. Awesome well you are painting on the spot showing people your live artwork yeah, how can people get in contact with you on social media um so on social media at the real e Graham, um that's on instagram um facebook um it's eddie Graham. other than that um you can just contact me on either or honestly yeah so i don't have a website right now because i kind of haven't been in the space social of, media is good enough <laughs> yeah i honestly haven't been in the space of selling art you know and honestly that's been a you know a, a grateful thing that i'm blessed of you know because some artists aren't being able to be in that space you know that kind of stressed about not selling artwork and everything so, you know, I'm just blessed to be able to, you know, do this full time, you know, be an inspiration for the kids that I work with and just my community in general and everything like that from, you know, being on the front of the paper to, you know, just doing different things, mural work around the city, um, partnerships with the businesses and, you know, uh, entities around the city, you know, so it's real great, you know, and just look for more things to come, you know, because it's only, you know, just... More and more. That's it. Yeah, yeah, honestly. So. <laughs> Nobody gets on the elevator and want to go down when you're first getting on the elevator. As always, first floor, you're going up. All right, right, right. Exactly. exactly. Well, thank you so much. Unless for your you time. work at like the, the <laughs> Pentagon or somewhere like that, then you gotta go on the ground. <laughs> you know? then, then you're going to yeah, a different yeah, level. Yeah, 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 <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Uh, definitely, no All problem. Right. Thank you. Hey, okay, yeah, my name is Hell Ward. I'm, <laughs> I guess I'm an artist, man. I make, you know, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I make stuff. Uh, I did three pieces on the back there, like all that Jordan stuff on the wood. And um, I make stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, yeah, so Kenny told me to open up the night. So, uh, <laughs> so we got a, we got a, you got a small space. You need to go see block. a spot. On the black block. It's on the black block right there. Got a, a sign. It's called um, it's called the Gun Show, and it's based on uh American violence. You know today. So it's a, uh, it's cool. A lot of sculpture. Mostly sculpture. All sculpture. Maybe like one. I don't paint. So, but that's it. My name is L. Ward, and I make stuff. So. Can I say something real quick? Because I don't think he sold it the way he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I make stuff. It's back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do y'all know where y'all got to go to see that? I don't think I they do. do. 
It's a sign. It's 100 right feet down away. Literally, yeah. about 100 feet It's a sign right there. It's so, a white sign that says, The Gun Show. Yeah. So, it's another small gallery space that he had open for tonight. And his exhibit, his sculpture is dope as shit. So right now, like, they come and do walkthroughs all the time. Like, every couple of weeks. Why do you Yeah, why do you I do that. I do want to uh, deal with you. So we working on a program. Me and um, my partner right there. We got another brand called Crash Boys. I don't know if you've heard Crash Boys. And that's our brand, and that's my partner there. Slow. And uh, we working on a history man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we work. We he's working on something with the students. So he's working with the schools and stuff right now. So that's the next step. Yeah, so that's it. I just want everybody to see it. And this was really like a part of developing the back block. So that property back here is going to be torn down, and we we don't want this to be a back block no more. So we put in all glass doors in the back, windows. So the back is as friendly as the front. So it's not a place where people urinate and you know blow in their car, try to do sneaky stuff, throw trash. Yeah. So once we this is we're gonna get images of everybody leaving and stuff, and it's going to show that. You know that it's working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you would have never had nobody on this back block uh, ten years ago. Definitely, it was smokers. We open the shutter, and they all, oh shit, what you doing? So you know what I mean? It's it's just all part of changing the neighborhood. So just just seeing everybody here is just like it's super super big time for us. Like super big. So you know we want to keep it up. Uh, Dev, Ro, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's here, but it's like the, the guys is like. Owner of the properties on this block and committed to the foolishness and the city, you know what I mean? Just people working with us and uh, everybody knew this coming. It's just like, we want to make this the best experience in the world. And people always say like, because I grew up in New York too. I grew up here and I grew up in New York. And people always like, what you doing down there? And it's like, bro, we want to change the world from this city. You know what I mean? This, this city has a bad, bad name. And I feel like if we can prove it here, we can prove it anywhere in the world. And I see it. You know what I mean? I see it. I, some of these people I knew from when they was kids. Exactly. Like a lot of people. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? And I see, you know, what they came through and, you know, the growth. So, you know, that's that's why I wanted everybody here tonight. And it was uh, started down here and it's beautiful. And Kay Hunt, who owns the gallery there, is, he grew up under me and Div. You know what I mean? Me and Div used to own clubs together for a long, long time. And he was the head of our street team back then. He's, I don't know how old he was. 14 or something like that, 15, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I see the growth and I see what can happen in the community if you stick to it. And another thing that I say to people all the time is smile, bro. You know what I mean? A guy told me in 1993, I had a job before one time. In 93, the guy, the guy told me, he was like an older Jewish guy, older, he was like 40 something, I was like a kid. And he said, yo, you're not gonna do this business, are you, that we hear about? And I'm like, nah, I'm probably not. And he said, man, I like your smile, man. He said, do me a favor. He said, smile and speak to 50 people a day to change your life. And I practice that every day after that. So oh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm new to Chester. My name is Ox. Uh, I own a streetwear brand called Halal Chinese Food. And we flip, you know, uh, hip hop culture with Islamic messages. Um, that's my stuff back there in the corner. We put we put art on clothing, canvas, print, pretty much everything. I'm actually opening a retail flagship store at 510 Avenue of the States. So I'm here with y'all and I ain't going nowhere because I like y'all. Um, so we also own another business called Embroidery Chef where we manufacture clothing. We do uh, embroidery, heat transfer vinyl, uh, silk screen, 3D printing, everything. So we're going to have those services on the block as well. We look forward to meeting all y'all. look forward to meeting everybody here. Thank y'all for, you know, being so warm to me. These guys are good dudes right here. I appreciate y'all. Man, thanks. Thank so let me say this over here. So Ox's specialty is helping people build their brands. So if you got a brand inside of you that you're trying to get out, he has all the equipment and all of the knowledge to help you take it from out of your head and physically give you something tangible that you can put into the marketplace. That's what he does, embroidery, screen print, 3D, all of that stuff. Hey everybody, we are here at the Art Show on the Avenue of the State. Introduce yourself to the people. How you doing? I'm Ox, um, owner of Halal Chinese Food NYC. Uh, we here, we put out a display. We actually just opened the store down the street um, at 510 Avenue of the States. 
we uh we just digging digging the vibes and just you know soaking it all up. So why is it important to have an event like this in the community? Uh, it's important to have events like these so that people could get to know each other, so that uh the art world could get in the same space and rub elbows because you know once you build a rapport with a person, it's easier to you know kind of lock in. All right, talk to us about what you have on display today. Uh, well, I bought a couple of my clothing pieces, and I also bought uh, uh, one of my print pieces. Um, our clothing pieces are, it's art on clothing, so, you know, we, we like to say we sell wearable Islamic art. Wearable art, I like that, I like that. So, being as though you have multiple streams going on you have the printing you have the food you have the wearable art so tell us just encourage somebody who is trying to get started what would be your encouragement to them um don't overthink it if you got an idea in your head if you see the idea it could happen don't don't overthink it don't try to um be perfect, you know, be, don't be afraid to make mistakes because they're not mistakes, they're like lessons. Okay. So, my advice would be to just, you know, um, don't overthink it and pull the trigger. Don't don't, don't just, you know, some people just procrastinate, they, they think, 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 and then no action. So, you just got to pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. So, what you have on display today, talk to us about the printed art that you have on display today. Um... I bought uh, one of my pieces called My Muslima, which is um, a, 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 a photo of a Muslima from the early 70s that was taken by uh, a, the world famous photographer Jamel Shabazz. We flipped the photo, you know, added our halal Chinese food, hip hop, you know, flavor to it and just, you know, brought it to life. Look, just like a person who cooks, he's talking about art and still talking about flavor. <laughs> he mix it, mixes it all up. It's all the same. It's coming from the heart, right? Yeah, you know, both <laughs> my companies are, you know, kind of a fusion of uh, music and art and food. So, halal Chinese food. And then we also own a manufacturing company called Embroidery Chef. So it kind of all just meshes together. Listen, the art got flavor. The food got flavor. <laughs> Listen, let's do it. How can people get in contact with you? Um, you can tap in with me at OCKZ on Instagram, um, at HalalChineseFood.NYC, or at Embroidery Chef. All right, there you have it. How y'all doing? My name Fitz Bomino. Bomino is at Fitz Guys Gear. I'm responsible for the Harriet Tubman over here. It's called the, it's called the Lost Souls. You know, I get, I get deep with this when it comes to my, my roots that I have over here, the first generation, and next to that is the Black Mona Lisa. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, I've been out here for six years. You know, I've been, <laughs> I've been out for six years, and I, a lot of times I was going to give up. But I did. Yeah, yeah, so I would like to thank my brothers in the Avenue States. You know, they get on my nerves sometimes. But guess what? That's love. Right. That's my love. man Ro, my man Kenny Art Monster. <laughs> we did like so many pictures together, mm -hmm. paintings together. My man over here looked like Scarface. <laughs> my man Devin Walls. His you name know. is Bobby. 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 Okay. <laughs> but I thank everybody that came out today, man. This is. This is crazy right here. We gotta keep doing this right here. I love y'all. Hey everybody, we are here on the avenue of the states in Chester, PA. I'm here with the one, the fits, the guy, the artist who is doing his thing. Say hello to the people. Hello people. Ah! So talk to us about how important tonight is. Well, it's been a long time that my artwork been in the art gallery you know, over the years, but tonight is special. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm glad to be part of this, and part of the community. The things I'm doing with the artwork, you know, I'm trying to get further what I'm doing. I'm, you know, this is a long process, but it's not over. It's just the beginning. I know that. So, you know, I think everybody coming out, you know, I think you too. You've been there for me. Appreciate it. We all know that. <laughs> So, you know, I'm just happy to be here. All right, so I want you to think about one of your pieces that you have on display tonight and tell us about it. Well, I have three on display. I have 
the um, Harry Tubman Lost Souls, which is over this way. And I have uh, the last generation over here with the Black Mona Lisa. I just wanted you to know I was going around saying that's the Manda Lisa. So if you heard what that is, they was like, oh, that's just something the Manda made up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I take that. <laughs> I take that. So if someone wanted to reach you, how could they reach you just to be with your fabulous art? Say it again. How could people reach you? Oh, you can reach me on Instagram, uh, Fist Guys Gift. You know, that's my. When you see me with the tiger, that's that's my uh, special, especially known image is the tiger. Okay, that's your, that's your, yeah. you're in the tiger, you got you the see, inner I tiger. I got the tiger colors on right now. Yeah. You, you peep that? Yeah, I saw you tiger. with the red and I was like, okay, yeah, I see, yeah. I see the fierceness. Yeah, I love tigers. Ah! And, and, and everybody on uh, Instagram that follow me know that. Yes, I did see you post the tiger like over your shoulder. Right. I saw it, I saw it. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you can get some words of encouragement to someone who might be, you know, moving but not getting there as quickly as they want to, but you want to encourage them to keep moving. Well, I told the artists that are trying to, you know, get further, don't ever give up, no matter what. You have to keep going because giving up, you, you, you'll never know. So that's how I stay alive. I've been I've been doing this too long to give up. So I'm going to be doing this until I'm 100 years old. God willing. Listen, one thing, if you don't know what tomorrow will bring, exactly. but if you give up, you'll never know. Right, exactly. Mm. Thank you for your time. Uh, okay. <laughs> My name is Terry Gibson. Terry Gibson! And I was born here in Chester, lived in William Penn Project. And I just want to give God all the praise. And I just look around and I say, oh my, oh my God, only God can do something like this. Mm -hmm. And see all our people together making a difference for Chester. Who would ever believe? I just look around and, and it makes my heart feel rejoice, you know. And I'm 50 years ago, we, we would have been around like this, talking about we should overcome, you hear me? Mm -hmm. But we done overcame already, you know? Amen. And I just give God all the praise. And I, just, I, I don't take no credit for what I did. I just say I just give it all to God. And look at what I'm seeing in there about me here to see this. And I got something to go back and tell my ancestors. Mm -hmm. how you hear me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to us about your art. What inspires your art? Well, um, um, Dandridge, um, when we used to live in the William Penn Project, we had this, this guy named Dandridge, and he taught the kids in the neighborhood, and it just stuck with me. It just stuck with me. But I give the praise to the Almighty God, you know, for, because every time I do anything, I always, ask, I always ask the Holy Spirit to help. Help me, Holy Spirit. And this is what he gives me. And that's what he gives you. Well, yes. Mother, I thank you for representing your art tonight with all the beautiful hairstyles. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you very much. And you much. keep letting God use you. Oh, he's going to use me now. She said, I ain't got no doubt about that. All right now. Thank you, Mother. Thank you very much, too. Right. So, um, dear Mr. Roland, can you explain to him what's going on here? Do on taco. How's everybody doing this evening? Y'all look beautiful. And I just want to let y'all know I feel very strong right now because... You look strong. I feel strong. Not in the sense of physical nature, but in the sense of like the essence of strength because I know what we're doing is not regular. I know I know across the country it's not too many black men coming together with art, business, and, and ownership. A lot of people are doing it, but the fusion of, uh, of coming together. So that's why I say I feel strong because standing up here with these black men doing what we're doing, I, I just know it's like it's different. So government name is Roland. Uh, most people call me Ro, but only a few, chosen few, call me Skelly, right? So in this capacity, in this capacity, I'm Skelly. Mm -hmm. And that's when, when people call me Skelly, like they know what's up. So I got pieces that's on a wall, you know, that y'all can see right there. I brought three pieces with me. Um, I'd also have a piece behind me uh, that was a dilapidated building, and I think I put my hands on that before I, I created these. Um, needed some love, 
brighten up the block, and I know I was going to do something profound. Came up with these crazy colors, and people were like, what the hell? You brought bright orange and yellow buildings, and you needed it. So that was actually my first piece, if you look at Duo and the buildings and Journey Tax. So a lot of people don't realize that they see me as an entrepreneurial business, dude that made the transition from being a bad kid in the streets, made it through that, you know, how I made it, I don't know, but made it through and made the transition. So I started with art first, like literally as a kid, um, my grandfather had this affinity for drawing houses. I picked it up. Um, I was, a, I, was, I, was always, I was always an artist, drawing my ass off as a kid. When it, back in the 80s, I'm old as shit. When the Challenger space shuttle went down, like, we, they had a project. We, like, they told us to express itself how we felt about it. I was like in fourth or fifth grade. This was the 80s. And um, I, drew, I drew a thing. And the thing about it is, I, I, I won something, whatever. I don't know why they do that to kids. They should have just gave, told us we all won. But they say, oh, you got the best draw. And I'm like, that's cruel. Cool. Like, their stuff is good, too. But I think what it was, I made this big-ass paint of the chest. It was big. Like, it was big as hell. As you notice, I got big-ass paint. I don't draw no small stuff. It's not no fun. So I like big paint. So I draw, draw this big thing, right? So growing up. You know, whatever, I made it out of high school somehow. They just pushed me out. From high school, I went to school um, for architecture. Yeah. I was still being bad down at LV, but somehow I went to technical school, came, tried to do architect, went to prison, that was it. It's crazy how things come full circle. I've been away from art for over 20 some years. I get with these guys, these are the. From 20 year hiatus, those three pieces I created. So I'm here, um, I know what we're doing is special. Um, it's, 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 it's bigger than art, it's, um, it's a renaissance. And um, y'all are here and it's a special moment. And I know in 10 years from now, this, this is gonna be a story that's gonna be spoke of. Cause I can almost guarantee you that this, sadly, this is not happening nowhere else. Sadly, sadly. And if it is, then somebody correct me, and I will. That I will never be so happy to be wrong. So, um, once again, I'm gonna end it with basically saying I feel strong, because I know next year it's gonna be way more turned up. You know, they ain't coming down, but they they gonna have to come. When I say they, the media, the you know, cause when they came, you know, for everything bad they come. Right. You know, like you know. I spent almost 10 years of my life in prison. Every time I went to jail, I was in the paper. Like, for nothing that I'm doing now, duo, journey tax, working with my brothers, uh, trying to make Chester a better place, nobody has came. Nobody has put us in the paper. Nobody did none of this. You know what I'm saying? So, at some point, what y'all witnessing right now is going to be historical. Point blank, period. So, um... Uh, it's an opportunity for everybody. Big win. So um, it's a beautiful night. That's why I brought, that's why I'm drinking champagne. <laughs> Peace and love, y'all. Hey everybody, we are here on the avenue of the states. I'm standing here with Mr. Roland himself. Say hello to the people. Hello everybody, beautiful people. Hello, hello, hello. Now you are one of the foot stompers on the avenue of the states, making it happen, brick and mortar, mm -hmm. taco duo, tax, you got, you got footprints over here. So yep. how important is it to have an event like this tonight? Well, it's so out of the ordinary, I know. Um, but it's all a part of it because initially, I think art might have been the birth of all of this. I mean, I'm telling you, the first thing to, that fought blight was the art. The art came up first, and then everything else followed. So, so I would have to say, it was the art first, and that was like the red carpet that everything else just came right behind it. But, um... I don't know, the universe is having its way right now. And then it's just, everything is unraveling and um, it's a bit much. It's, it's, it's a movement. It's a beautiful storm happening. Like, I'm telling you, I, 
things are moving and flowing. You're like, okay, let's just go with it. it it's, it's a, we're just riding this wave right now. And um, we, I just want to see what's going to happen after... I don't know. I want to see what's next. Hey, and the thing is, it's uphill if we just stick together. Yes. Oh. So, go ahead. No, you are, you're about to say <laughs> something. Yeah. I was getting ready to say, think about what you have on display tonight and tell me about one of your pieces. Okay, so I have uh, three pieces um, on display tonight. Um, and they, they were birthed um, around the same time um, the businesses that we put on the block was birthed. So... It, 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 it all happened at one once uh, during the pandemic where I had time to settle down a little bit um, and get a lot of things that was inside of me out. So, you know, from journey tax to duo and, and, and to the three pieces. So those three pieces are special. I wanted to put them on display because they were they were a part of this renaissance that we are experiencing here in downtown Chester. So if somebody wanted to check out your pieces or maybe come and get some tacos, how could they reach you on social oh, media? On social media, most uh, universally, like, because if, I mean, don't, I have an email like everybody else do, or a teller at journeytax.com, but for the most part, Duo Row, Duo Taco, Journey Tax on social media. Any one of those, we respond in a DM. Listen, we making it do what it do. You keep doing what you're doing. Thank I'm you for a, your time. I'm going to do that and celebrate it. Celebrate this, it tonight. This beautiful moment. It got to have champagne for a moment, <laughs> for an event like this and a moment like this. It's a good celebration. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> he is art. He is art. I'm Hayes McLeod, as he said. He said a little bit too much. But these uh, paintings on the wall, they're in the blue. They're recyclable fabric that was thrown away. Because this community to me, because I inserted myself in this community and was a stranger when I came here. So the guys now and the people are recycling what white people left behind because they completely destroyed, took the industries and things away and they sucked the money and the air out of this community. So we're, our responsibility as artists is to resuscitate it. So that's what that represents. The love that we have for our women and for each other is strong enough to hold the sun up. And you know how hot it is. So that's what that is. But it's all uh, representation of things thrown away that we're rebuilding now into something beautiful that you can actually hang on the wall. And so I usually sing a song when I'm in present in front of people this way. And so this, is, this song is from Mali, West Africa. Nigeria, <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thanks for coming out. Enjoy yourself. And you know, I've been all over the world. I've done art over the world. I'm a performer as well. Um, I'm Gullah, you know, uh, from South Carolina. Uh, lived in Europe, Africa, you know, all those kind of things. Um, and events like this is important because I call it Art Without Ego and acronym ALL. So it's awesome, it's ALL, you know what I'm saying? This is not a competition, it's people working together, melding their works and their ideas and sense of community together. So hopefully this will be the beginning of this year coming in, that it starts to increase and snowball, you know what I mean? So that's the important thing. So I want you to think about one of the pieces that you have on display and talk to us about it. Okay, well, mine or somebody yes, else's? Yours. Okay, so just think about that piece and just tell the people in the camera about it. Oh, from see you standing right here? Right here. Oh, okay. No, well, like I said, it's recyclable fabric. I work in recyclables. So if you have a chair, a table, fabrics, uh, dolls, whatever, I can turn it into art. I repurpose it into work. So it, I give a new, breathe a new life into it. So people, before I use it for one thing, and then I turn it into something else to be reused again. So I'm working on a collection now with uh, iron filings from an ironsmith who discarded the filings, and I was able to turn it into a work. So eventually you get a chance to see that collection, but that's what it is. And that work represents this community since I've been here. This is my fourth year. So 
to see the people and to embrace the people and to see things that's discarded. A lot of these people have been discarded. So those two pieces that I have on the wall represents that. You know what I mean? To bring back, resuscitate uh, evolution that can happen in this community. Is that the one with the blue flowers? Yeah. That is beautiful. We're going to make sure that we show people that beautiful. Yeah. So if somebody else wanted to just see more of your art, how could they do that? Well, they would have to come to my studio. Right now, I closed my studio down because I'm working on those pieces and I don't like to show people right away. But um, if you have a contact, I can contact you because I come from the old school. Oh, so I don't need nothing wrong with that. And all that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you so much for your You're time. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm Bones. And, uh, yeah, so I just do a lot of different art in the community here. Wilmington, where I'm from, Philly, New York. Uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, my main thing for real for real is like fashion and design and stuff like that, but I play with the, the paintbrush. I got some pieces right here. There's some things I put together. Uh, yeah, and it's like I said, it's like working in the community, working with these brothers. They like my mentors, my old heads now. And just seeing what we just been able to do, just black men and black women just coming together in this building for real, for real. Like like Rose said, you don't really see that a lot in in America, in the world, for real, for real, especially with the ownership and the leadership. And again, my joint is radical youth, so I kind of do programs with the youth, teach them about design, creativity, entrepreneurship, and the radical youth is the ones that's going to the, the start the revolution and kind of change the future. So that's what I'm about. So, Bones, you got a line drop in today, or is it what are you drop? Uh, no. Nah, so tomorrow we got an event. It's a, it's another art com fashion me black pop up. It's in Wilmington now. So new uh, new pieces, but y'all can just tap in on the gram, radical youth on the gram, and then stay updated on what's going on. So. Hey everybody, we are here at the art show on the Avenue of the States. I have the pleasure of standing here with one of the artists, Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. How are you doing? Listen, I can't complain. We're about to check out some beautiful art. So, what brought you? I'm going to let you tell the people. What brought you here today? Uh, to showcase some of the pieces and then... Uh I uh, got my studio in the community, like right off the Avenue of the States. Like I'm one of the artists in the community that's always doing stuff, not just tonight. So this is just one of the events uh, we help put together and uh, to bring the people out. So. Awesome, awesome. So I want you to tell us about one of the pieces you have on display and what the details of that piece mean. Okay, so again, my name is Bones. So uh, one of the pieces I got is kind of like a skeleton figure and um, I was just kind of like reflecting on myself and it's made like kind of abstract kind of version. And uh, yeah, it's on acrylic, small canvas, but uh, yeah, I just expressed myself that day, so. All right, so how can people get in contact with you or reach you? Uh, on Instagram, mainly, I mainly use Instagram and it's uh, underscore radical dot youth underscore, so. All right, so All thank right. you for sharing your art with us. Yeah, for sure. All right. Watch your brand real quick, come on. Uh, Paragon Charisma, I make clothing. Uh, known for denim, so you'll see denim building a lot of stuff. Uh, varsity jackets, denim heavy. Did you make the jacket you got on? Yeah, I made the jacket. Can we see it? Made the jeans too. Yeah, yeah and the jeans. Okay. Yeah. They nice and clean. Yeah, so I, do, I do all the embroidery, all the embroidery is done by hand. 100 year old machine, so it takes about 30 hours to just do the, uh, the embroidery on the, on the jacket, so. Hey everybody, we are here on the Avenue of the States. Can you introduce yourself to the people? Yeah, I'm Steve, also known as the Denim Bully. Got brand Paragon Charisma. All right, listen to Denim Bully. That just got authority on it. Ah. <laughs> so, why is it important to have an event like this? Oh yeah, keep everyone engaged, keep everyone's eyes. You know, it's, it's, it's healthy, uh, good, good stuff to, you know, be creating art and sharing it with everybody, making money, keeps everyone moving, uh, everyone out of trouble. A lot of good things to say about Definitely. having an event like this. So let's let's talk about your wearable art. Talk to us about what you're wearing today. Well, I got a varsity jacket on, a hoodie, jeans, a belt that I made. Uh, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm call me the denim bully, so I'm known for denim. So obviously jeans, I do jeans, overalls, jackets, bucket hats, all kinds of stuff in denim. 
also known for a lot of like heavy wool, like varsity jackets, overcoats, trench coats, things like that also. So I've obviously I have a varsity jacket on. It's like one of the favorites. Everyone like seems to like these things. They're kind of popular right now. I was trying to do it before it became popular and now it's, now it's a thing, but I like what I do. Uh, and it looks good. So Thank can you, you show us the back? Let's see the yeah, back yeah. of that. Let's let's see the back of that. Okay. All right. All right. Then I'm bully on the back. What you got on the sides here? What's on, on the sides? Side? Sir Roses. It says Paragon Charisma. I got a P and a C on the arms. You know, for Paragon Charisma, which is the name of the brand. Denim Bully is just my personal nickname, so I'll put that on my jackets, but I don't usually put that on anything I sell because people get confused and they think that's the name of the brand. They be calling somebody else that. They're yeah, like, yeah. no, that's my no, name. That's, that's me, yeah. <laughs> so how can people reach you? They may want some pieces reach, made. People can reach me, find me on, on Instagram or, or on uh, anywhere on social media, Google me, find me on my website, ParagonCharisma.com or at Paragon Charisma, pretty much everywhere. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, last, just one more time, right? I want to say thank you all for coming out. I'm, um, something that we didn't mention at all was, uh, I was, uh, like 16, uh, 1996. What? 1996. Me, Devin, L over there, we got our first building over here. I was getting mentored by them. We got our first building in 96. Nobody wanted to be over here. That's not a bad thing. It was empty. Steve was here too. Huh? Steve was oh, there goes Steve. Steve was over here with us. But it was it was an empty neighborhood, you feel me? And I'm not I'm not saying that to boast on it. I'm saying that to say I love you guys for being here because this is a manifestation of the black dollar getting recycled in the black community. Um this is a this is a manifestation of just look at this shit. This is black excellence right here, yo. They don't expect people don't expect this. He said air white with you know the <laughs> White chocolate, man. White this guy with a sweet four seven. First off, hold on. Two of the white people in here right now, this is the best, one of the best clothing designers I know, and this is one of the best men behind the grill. But as a us working as a community though, I just want to say thank you, man, because it means so much. Like when we can do this, because everywhere else, like Rose said, they don't think we can do this. They don't think we can be together like this and, and have excellence, you know? So let's keep doing it, man. Thank you for coming here during Black Excellence Month, man. Let's keep shining, y'all. We are here on the Avenue of the States. Tell everybody who you are and where we are. How y'all doing? My name is uh, Kenneth Hunt. Everybody calls me the Art Monster. We're at Gallery 600 at 600 Avenue of the States. I'm going to let you hold the mic because what birth? Now, I know you could go way back. But just want you to talk about right here, this event, what birth this event, and who's here or how many artists. Just explain what is mm -hmm. happening right here in this beautiful space. Um, right here is like a, a, a forcing of, or how, how do you say it? Like a collage or coming together? A or, coming together or like a, a tree sprouting out of the ground. I like that. Of a lot of artists. It's about 22 artists in here. Um, I thought of a way to bring artists together, but not it wasn't my idea my ideal alone. I get it from people like you. I get it from people like uh, our old mayor, uh, Thaddeus Kirkland, I get it from the Devin Walls, I get it from a Koryak, how they try to bring everybody together. So I just I stay in my playing field and I bring together artists. And that's what that was that's what this is right now. And you did good. Thank you. You did good. Thank you. So I want you to talk to the camera about your historical piece, your coined piece, and how you've been traveling around and having an art gallery. So what birthed your coined image? Um, the art monster was made from uh, life experiences, I guess. But each art monster is supposed to be everybody. Like, it's supposed to involve everybody that, that ever is looking at it. I put these big hearts on them because they always say the bigger your heart is, the bigger the target. I put a crown on it because no matter what your lineage is, it, it traces back to royalty. And I've just been blessed. I put my like I put my life into my painting. And I try to do good energy and I live by like making sure that if you want to get blessed, you have to bless other people. So my art has been taking me around the world and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. I'm very humbled for that. Blessed to be a blessing. So how can people connect with you on social media? So in order to connect with me on social media, you can find me at Instagram, Kenneth underscore Picasso. On Facebook, it's uh, Kenneth the Art Monster. Um, TikTok, I think it's Kenneth the Art Monster. Uh, you can email me. 
theartmonster.com, or you can just come on down to Gallery 600 on Avenue of the States, and you can walk this whole block and see a lot of great art from a lot of different artists from all over the tri-state area. Some of them are from even like around the world actually now. Yes. Listen, you, know? you can take the train or the bus, get off and just cross the street and you'll be right here. Yep. Ah, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I'm humbled and, and honored for you having me, okay? <laughs> Hey everybody, we are here at the Art Gallery on the Avenue of the States. I'm still here with the one and only Mr. Devin Walls. What's up y'all? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? So um, he's still, you know, on cloud nine from his movie, <laughs> Praying on Tubi. Look, that even flo that even flows off movie the left. on Tubi, she great bars. Let's go! <laughs> so tell us, because you're a pillar in this community when it comes to art and mm -hmm. what you started to mm -hmm. now see this. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about tonight. Well, it's, it's a lot of different types of emotions going on right now. One, because Kenny actually started out with us as well. So it was always our dream for the people that was with us to own their own gallery spaces and be able to build in the community as well. So when the opportunity came to let Kenny open up his gallery here and we all came together to help him build, this was one of the things that we wanted to see, a community gallery happen. We got over 20 artists here, man. I'm just ecstatic. So I dressed up like I'm coming to the prom because this is our art prom, you know what I mean, here in the city of Chester. And a lot of the times people don't understand how much it really means to bring people out like this. We got politicians, artists, entrepreneurs, families. It's just a big thing to me, man. I'm happy. Can't you tell? And that's why I said, okay, I gotta yeah. ask this uh -huh. question because, you know, you go from painting the walls in front of the stores to actually having your art on the walls in yes. the gallery. Yes. Well, it's all about growth, though, right? Overtown wasn't always what it is now, so it's been growing for a long time. People couldn't see the struggles and the fights that we were having because we were doing it from the inside out. But now they're starting to see the fruits of our labor, you know what I mean, right in their faces right now. If you ride down the avenue, you see the art in the galleries, you see the businesses open, and this is just the beginning, Amanda. You know how we do. We're gonna this keep it going. This is only the beginning, but I said out of several of the people in this room, I know that you probably have the biggest smile on your heart yeah, tonight. for sure. Because sure. you, that you had the boots on the ground to make this possible. Yeah. So one of your pieces tonight. Think about one of the pieces that you you have on display tonight right. and tell right. us about it. Right. So I got a couple pieces on the wall. So we recently came back from Ghana and we worked in the schools there. So I made a couple pieces that we were working on in Ghana. I finished them here. And one is a little boy. He has this box high haircut. But in the hair, we made it out of different pieces. So it's a lot of collage pieces in the hair. And each piece of it tells a different story story about oppression, about hunger, about struggle, about triumph, and about self-respect and dignity. And you know what I mean? So when the people look at it, you can't tell just by standing back. You have to really go close and really dig deep in it. So I wanted to uh, give them some pieces that would provoke some thoughts. So you have to really think about what's in the pieces. So I like that because when it came to coming over here from Africa mm -hmm. on the slave ship, yes. hair meant everything. Yeah, yeah, it meant everything. Hair said you know everything. I mean? It told what tribe you came from. Mm -hmm. It t told if you were a king, a queen. Yep. So yep. I like that. I like yeah. that. So a lot of people already asked me questions about it right now. And I told them, go look at them and you come back and give me the answers to the questions. Mm, you know it. what I mean? Because art is one of those things that you're going to have a different answer as to what you see than what I'm going to have. So it's interesting to hear how many different perspectives the people have on the art. They say and, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, and we're all beautiful. We all black people. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm loving it right now. See, we float. I don't see. I'm feeling it. Yeah, I'm feeling man. it. But he, he is celebrity in the building. Like, I got to oh, let him go. No, I ain't I got to let him go because it was even hard getting him over here. But that's what it's all about because your hard work is paying off. So yeah. how can people reach you? So people can reach me on Instagram at the Artist Warehouse or they can go to my website, IamDevinWalls.com. And I also have Freeman Arts Alliance, which is helping build the whole block that's our 501c3 was doing and helping put things like this together. So we around, we here, and we're going to keep on building. I know that's right. Keep building together, and we will get there together. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's